Egypt, renowned for its age-old enigmas and remarkable archaeological revelations, has held the fascination of people across the globe for centuries. Its captivating history and enigmatic structures continue to perplex and astonish both scholars and avid individuals. In this captivating expedition, we delve into the mesmerizing world of Egyptian archaeology and whispers of the legendary Cleopatra, a woman of unparalleled beauty, power, and mystique. But what hidden tales do the sands of Egypt hold about her life and destiny? Join us as we decipher the hieroglyphs of the past to unlock the truth behind the legendary queen and 15 astounding Egyptian archaeological finds that have fascinated the world for millennia. Number 15. Geometric Miracle In the year 2010, archaeologists made a significant discovery. They found the original entrance, which is often referred to as a gate, to a temple that was dedicated to the ancient Egyptian deity Osiris. Alongside this remarkable finding, a massive statue made of granite was also uncovered. This statue portrayed a king from the Ptolemaic dynasty, a historical period influenced by Hellenistic culture. The statue's design reflects the attire of an ancient Egyptian ruler with a collar and kilt. Dr. Zahi Hawass, a prominent Egyptologist, suggests that this imposing sculpture might represent Ptolemy IV, a pharaoh from the Hellenistic era. This discovery offers valuable insights into the lives of ancient Egyptians during a period known as the Golden Age. This era also saw the construction of the Temple of Tapos Iris Magna, dedicated to the deity of death, Osiris. Additionally, an underground tunnel was found beneath the temple. This tunnel, measuring 6.5 feet in height and extending a length of 4,300 feet, was unearthed by Kathleen Martinez. Alongside this discovery, she found several ceramic pots, vessels, and two alabaster statues from the Ptolemaic era. The tunnel's construction is believed to have taken place in the early 3rd century BCE, aligning with the temple's timeline. The tunnel's geometric precision earned it the title of a geometric miracle, as stated by Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, which announced this remarkable find. Due to a series of earthquakes that occurred in the area between 320 and 1303 BCE, a portion of the tunnel now lies submerged underwater. Archaeologists theorize that the temple suffered destruction due to these natural disasters, an idea supported by the evidence of earthquakes over centuries. Number 14. The Book of the Dead The Book of the Dead is an important part of history. It's a collection of ancient Egyptian writings that guided the departed to the afterlife. This holy book has spells and prayers to help people through the challenges in the underworld. It was written on scrolls made from papyrus and carefully kept in Egypt from around 1550 BC to 1070 BC during the New Kingdom era. This special ancient artifact shows things about the past. It's like a detailed guide for what comes after death. It has chapters and spells with lots of knowledge for the journey beyond life, ensuring a successful trip through the underworld. The Book of the Dead is not just one book, it's a set of writings meant to help ancient people safely reach the afterlife. This collection is based on early Egyptian beliefs, explaining what happens after death and the roles of deities. Additionally, it provides hymns and invocations to the multitude of over 2,000 deities revered by the ancient Egyptians. The material used for this papyrus is notably exceptional, as it was a versatile substance cherished in various domains of ancient Egypt. Derived from the prolific Nile River, where vast quantities of papyrus plants thrived, this material played a pivotal role in recording and safeguarding texts. It is through the potent magical incantations within the Book of the Dead that a living individual could attain an exalted status as an eternal being within the afterlife. This text had different uses, including guiding people in the netherworld complexities. It was kept in tombs to help and guard the deceased on their journey after death. It has many magical spells like coffin texts from around 2000 BCE and pyramid texts from 2400 BCE. There are also hymns about sun deities. Many authors, compilers, and sources worked on it. Scribes carefully wrote them on papyrus scrolls with colorful pictures. Original copies haven't been found in Egyptian tombs. 
It was first cataloged in 1842 by Carl Richard Lepsius, a German Egyptologist. The Book of the Dead was very important to ancient Egyptians. It helps us understand their beliefs about the afterlife. But like the movie The Mummy from 1999, people sometimes misunderstand or add exciting details to this old text. Number 13. The Khufu Ship The ancient Egyptians practiced unique burial customs, particularly for individuals of significance. Numerous remarkable findings in Egypt are associated with these customs. One noteworthy discovery is the Khufu Ship, unearthed in the 1950s and recently relocated amid grand festivities. This vessel holds immense importance due to its subterranean interment for approximately five millennia. Scientists were profoundly impressed by its craftsmanship and remarkable preservation. The revelation occurred when an Egyptian engineer named Kamalak inadvertently encountered two cavities while clearing debris near the Great Pyramid of Khufu. Interestingly, there were three additional cavities resembling boats. Following its excavation, the boat was entrusted to an Egyptian restorer named Haja Ahmed Yusuf. Impressively sizable, the Khufu boat measures 43.4 meters in length, 5.9 meters in width, and 1.78 meters in depth. It features a bow resembling a papyrus and an imposing stern weighing around 45 tons. Instead of utilizing metal nails, the vessel's construction relied on ropes. It served diverse functions, such as transporting the pharaoh's remains to sacred sites and assisting the ruler in the afterlife. Currently housed within the Grand Egyptian Museum, transporting the Khufu ship to this location safely took half a year. Enduring intrigue surrounds this significant discovery, and the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities is keen to learn about individuals' areas of interest regarding ancient Egypt. Number 12. 4,200 Feet Untouched Passage In recent years, a committed group of archaeologists, led by the renowned Kathleen Martinez, has been tirelessly working to uncover the tomb of Cleopatra. Just when it seemed their endeavors might not yield results, they achieved a remarkable breakthrough. Deep within the Taposiris Magna Temple in northern Egypt, they discovered something astonishing. An untouched passage measuring over 4,200 feet in length and more than 42 feet deep. This led to a concealed chamber that had remained undisturbed for centuries. The excitement surrounding this discovery is palpable, as experts are considering the possibility that this could indeed be Cleopatra's long-lost tomb. Around 280 to 270 BC, Pharaoh Ptolemy II Philadelphus established the historic city of Tap Osiris Magna. This name is linked to the Grand Tomb of Osiris, a connection made by the ancient writer Plutarch. The city is situated to the west of the ancient Alexandria. Since 1998, numerous archaeologists have been dedicatedly engaged in this significant project. Number 11. The Curse of the Pharaohs The Curse of the Pharaohs is a well-known and eerie belief that people who disturb the tombs of ancient Egyptian pharaohs will face a curse. This unsettling idea gained worldwide attention after British archaeologist Howard Carter discovered the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun in 1922. There were reports of strange deaths and unfortunate events happening to those involved in the excavation. This led to suspicions that a curse had been unleashed. The origin of this curse can be traced to inscriptions found in the tombs themselves. These inscriptions warned of serious consequences for anyone who showed disrespect to these sacred burial sites. The ancient Egyptians believed that even in the afterlife, the departed pharaohs retained their powers and could bring terrible misfortunes upon those who disturbed their eternal resting places. After the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb, strange occurrences took place. Lord Carnarvon, who founded the excavation, died from a mosquito bite shortly after entering the tomb. Many believed that he fell victim to the pharaoh's curse. Other members of the team and their families also experienced unexpected deaths, adding to the reputation of the curse. However, some people doubt this curse, saying it's merely a result of superstition and coincidence. They point out that Howard Carter, the one who uncovered the tomb, lived for another 17 years after the discovery. There are alternative explanations as well. Some suggest that the deaths and misfortunes attributed to the curse could be due to exposure to harmful molds and bacteria present in the ancient tombs. 
This theory suggests that these factors might have contributed to the health issues experienced by those who entered the tombs. Number 10. Tunnel Beneath the Tapos Iris Magna Temple For a considerable span of time, Kathleen Martinez held the belief that the Tapos Iris Magna Temple could potentially be the final resting place of the legendary Queen Cleopatra. This temple, situated in the city of Tapos Iris Magna, evolved into a hub of religious significance following the conquest of Egypt by Alexander the Great in 332 BC, along with the establishment of Alexandria. Both the tunnel and the temple appear to have been erected around the same time in the early 3rd century BCE. This construction was undertaken as part of the endeavor to locate the tombs of Cleopatra and Mark Antony. An earlier radar survey of the Temple of Tapos Iris Magna had been concluded in 2002. However, renewed interest in the search for Cleopatra's tomb was kindled upon the discovery of the tunnel beneath the Tapos Iris Magna Temple. This tunnel holds the potential to lead to the resting places of Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Undoubtedly one of the most significant archaeological revelations in recent times, the discovery of the tunnel has been dubbed a geometric marvel, and rightfully so. The historical context of the Tapos Iris Magna Temple and its correlation with Cleopatra has been considerably clarified owing to the unearthing of this tunnel. The temple was likely erected as a place of congregation for worshippers and as a homage to the ancient Egyptian deities. The discovery of the tunnel has also shed light on new intricacies related to the temple's construction, including the techniques employed by the architects and builders of ancient Egypt. In this groundbreaking journey, Kathleen Martinez has emerged as a true trailblazer in the field of archaeology. Her unwavering resolve and expertise have led her team to this pivotal juncture. The global community is now keenly awaiting the revelation of the concealed chamber's contents. What adds a further layer of intrigue to this discovery is the tantalizing prospect of encountering Cleopatra's remains in their entirety, along with potentially unearthing fresh artifacts and forging more direct connections to Cleopatra herself. Number 9. Cleopatra's Potential Escape Route Revealed Dating back to some of the earliest societies in the world, the Egyptians crafted awe-inspiring monuments such as palaces, tombs, and pyramids. In fact, their creations, renowned for their sophistication and elegance, held a paramount place in the ancient world. Within the context of this fascinating civilization, the enigma surrounding Cleopatra's tomb has lingered for centuries. A recent revelation in Egypt has compelled experts to reevaluate their understanding of her final resting place. A group of archaeologists unearthed an extended tunnel leading to a succession of chambers in the ruins of the historical city of Tapos Iris Magna, situated about 30 miles west of Alexandria. Notably, a remarkable discovery has been made beneath an ancient Egyptian temple, a tunnel with the potential to reveal the lost tomb of Cleopatra. This tunnel, delicately carved into the rock, resides approximately 43 feet beneath the temple's grounds at a depth of around 13 meters. Inside these chambers, a trove of artifacts, including coins and statues dating back to Cleopatra's era, were found. This intriguing assortment hints at the possibility that the tunnel served as a clandestine route for Cleopatra and her family, a potential escape passage from Alexandria. Should this hypothesis hold true, the prospect of Cleopatra's tomb concealed within this intricate tunnel system is tantalizing. The repercussions of this revelation have reverberated through the echelons of the historical community, sparking fervent speculation regarding its implications for our comprehension of Cleopatra's life and times. The tunnel itself, discovered beneath the venerable Tapos Iris Magna Temple, stretches an impressive 4,300 feet in length, lying about 43 feet beneath the temple's surface. The excavation effort yielded a collection of artifacts, including ancient coins portraying Cleopatra and Alexander the Great, as well as two alabaster heads, one of a sphinx and another hailing from the Ptolemaic period. Number 8. The Mummy with a Golden Tongue Archaeologists recently made a remarkable discovery, a mummy with a golden tongue. This finding offers intriguing insights into the burial customs of ancient Egyptians and provides a window into their beliefs concerning the afterlife. The golden tongue in ancient Egypt was a symbol of prestige and authority, 
believed to enable the departed to communicate with deities in the afterworld. This particular mummy was unearthed in the ruins of Top Osiris Magna, an ancient city located roughly 30 miles west of Alexandria. The passage in which this mummy was found dates back almost 2,000 years. What sets this mummy apart is its possession of a golden tongue, an unprecedented characteristic not found in previous discoveries. Further archaeological exploration led to the uncovering of a temple dedicated to Osiris, the ancient Egyptian deity of the underworld, near the mummy's resting place. This discovery hints at the possibility that the mummy might have held a position of high priestly rank or even been a priestess of Osiris. The Temple of Osiris, known for its role in safeguarding and preserving mummies, adds significance to the golden tongue within the mummy's mouth. Some speculate that this golden tongue was positioned to facilitate communication between the deceased and Osiris, enabling the departed to appeal for a favorable afterlife. The revelation of a mummy featuring a golden tongue in Top Osiris Magna constitutes a substantial archaeological breakthrough. Number 7. The Temple of Topos, Iris, Magna Mummies Archaeologists have spent nearly a century searching for the tomb of Cleopatra, the famed Egyptian ruler. Recent findings have brought exciting possibilities of locating her final resting place. These discoveries tie her to two mummies found at the Temple of Tapos, Iris Magna, believed to be individuals of high status from Cleopatra's era. Through X-ray examination, it was determined that the mummies, one male and one female, were originally adorned with opulent gold leaf, a symbol of wealth and prestige. One of them even bore a gold leaf scarab symbolizing rebirth. Cleopatra, a significant figure from the Ptolemaic dynasty, marked the end of a powerful era in Egypt. Kathleen Martinez, an archaeologist with an unconventional background as a lawyer, dedicated almost 20 years to unraveling Cleopatra's elusive tomb. She financed her own expeditions to Egypt and persisted in her pursuit, convinced that Cleopatra's resting place might be hidden in an unexpected location specifically a burial pit within a temple dedicated to Isis and Osiris, prominent deities of ancient Egypt. Martinez's exceptional determination led to her obtaining rare access permits to numerous temples for an intensive two-month survey. Through her meticulous efforts, she unearthed a momentous discovery that forever altered her journey. Among her achievements, Martinez revealed two concealed chambers within the Tapos Iris Magna Temple. These chambers, previously unknown to the public, aroused her speculation that they could potentially contain the joint burial site of Cleopatra and Mark Antony, though conclusive confirmation remained elusive at the time. This discovery extended beyond the Cleopatra project and showcased Martinez's tenacity and dedication to uncovering Egypt's hidden history. Number 6. Decoding Ancient Connections In 2022, the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities made public a remarkable discovery. A geometric displacement of great significance was revealed during a tunnel construction project. This newly found tunnel, expertly carved into the rock, lies 13 meters beneath the surface and stands at a height of 2 meters. Dr. Kathleen Martinez, in response to this announcement, provided intriguing insights. She pointed out the striking architectural similarity between the newly discovered tunnel and the Upolino Tunnel in Greece. This connection between the two tunnels raises compelling questions about the historical and cultural ties between ancient Egypt and Greece. Dr. Martinez's comments underscored the importance of this discovery and its potential implications for our comprehension of ancient civilizations. While certain experts remain receptive to the possibility of Cleopatra and Mark Antony's interment in Tapasiris Magna, Martinez's theory has encountered skepticism from others. It's worth noting, however, that her theory garners support from a significant number of esteemed Egyptologists and archaeologists, including Dr. Howard. Despite the ongoing debates and uncertainties, Dr. Martinez's accomplishments over almost two decades of exploration are undeniable. She has left an enduring impact on the field of archaeology. Regardless of the eventual outcome of her quest for Cleopatra's burial site, the discovery of coins linking Antony and Cleopatra is of paramount importance. Moreover, the tunnel exploration led by her team unearthed a plethora of historically significant artifacts, among them a pair of sculpted alabaster heads found in a cave near the temple. 
One head originated from the Ptolemaic era, while the other depicted the mythical creature Abu. Prior excavations at the same location also brought to light coins bearing the names and likenesses of Antony and Cleopatra. The close proximity of these coins to the alabaster heads enhances the allure of this revelation. These findings provide captivating insights into the profound history and cultural relevance of the Tapasiris Magnusite site. Dr. Martinez's groundbreaking work on these significant artifacts, which were unearthed under her guidance, has substantially enriched our comprehension of this ancient locale. Her team's explorations have also uncovered a complex network of tunnels, located 25 to 35 meters below the surface, which are currently undergoing cleaning. Additionally, her team's efforts have yielded statues of the Isis galaxy, further augmenting their collection of valuable artifacts. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. It's time for today's discussion. Behold, the image that has sent shockwaves through the world of archaeology and beyond, the mesmerizing unearthing of not one but two skeletal remains from the depths of an enigmatic Egyptian tomb. The line between reality and imagination blurs as we are confronted with this pair of skulls that defy explanation, each adorned with eye sockets so vast they challenge our perceptions of what is possible. Gaze upon these skeletal enigmas. Do they hail from an otherworldly realm, or have they been crafted by the hands of meticulous storytellers? Their strikingly large eye sockets, resembling those of extraterrestrial beings, send the mind racing with possibilities. Are we gazing upon evidence of ancient visitors from the stars, or does this tableau belong to the realm of artistic innovation, designed to bewilder and beguile? With each carefully chiseled bone, the echoes of ages long gone whisper their secrets to us, prompting us to unravel the threads of a tale that may defy the boundaries of time itself. Let's know what you think about what just showed up on your screen. Number 5. The Screaming Mummy Deep within the ancient tombs of Egypt lies a mysterious figure often referred to as the Unknown Man E or the Screaming Mummy. Discovered in 1886 from the hidden Deir El Bahari cache, this baffling find has evoked fear in all who have encountered it. What sets this preserved individual apart is the haunting expression frozen upon their face, a perpetual snapshot of intense suffering. Captured in time, their mouth remains open, silently echoing unimaginable agony. This unsettling countenance has sparked various theories about the tormented soul behind it and the events that led to such a horrific fate. However, the secrets encompassing the screaming mummy go beyond its chilling expression. The manner of its burial is peculiar. Unlike the customary practices of the era, unknown man E was wrapped in a sheepskin, a material considered impure in the context of ancient Egyptian culture. This unconventional choice suggests the possibility that this individual might have been an outcast, shunned by society. The absence of proper embalming points to a hurried and urgent burial, the disorderly nature of this internment fuels conjecture that the individual could have been a disgraced noble or a victim of a violent crime, hastily laid to rest. One theory posits that the screaming mummy might be none other than Prince Pent Aware, son of Pharaoh Rameses III. According to ancient tales, Pent Aware conspired against his father and, as punishment, took his own life. The circumstances surrounding the mummy's discovery lend credence to this notion. Unknown man E was treated hastily and disrespectfully, akin to a fallen noble. The anguished expression etched onto the mummy's face possibly mirrors the agony he experienced in his final moments. However, despite the speculation and the shroud of mystery, the true identity of the screaming mummy remains elusive. The enigma behind the anguished visage persists both captivating and unsettling our imaginations. Number 4. The Mysterious 3,500-Year-Old Box In the past, many of the ancient Egyptians lived near the Nile River. Lots of them worked as farmers, growing food to eat. As time went on, some really important leaders known as pharaohs became powerful. These pharaohs led to the Egyptians doing amazing things, like building huge triangular structures called pyramids that we still know about today. One of these special pharaohs was Tutmosis, second a long time ago. He was put to rest in a special place that people called a tomb. 
This tomb, where he was buried, was lost for a really long time. But something very lucky happened recently. People found a chest full of valuable things, and it's giving them clues about where Tutmosis II's tomb might be. What makes this discovery even more surprising is that it was found by accident. A group of people whose job is to dig up old things called archaeologists from a place called Poland were exploring a historic area called Deir al-Bahari in Egypt. This place is close to the Nile River and has a lot of old tombs and important structures. It's interesting because these Polish explorers have been searching this area for a very long time, since the 1960s. They've found many things that help us understand how amazing Egypt was in the past. But this new find was unexpected. The chest was sitting in a pile of rubble. At first look, it seemed like a plain stone block that people used to build things a really long time ago. The scientists had to look at it many times to be sure it was something special. Even though the chest isn't very big, about as tall and wide as a school ruler, what's inside is incredibly valuable. This is a big step in learning more about the people who lived a very long time ago and the incredible things they accomplished. Number 3. The Long Lost Burial Place of King Thutmos, Second. After archaeologists carefully unearthed a box that had been buried for 3,500 years, their curiosity was piqued about what it might hold. When they opened the box, they found objects that had been wrapped with great care. One of these items was the well-preserved body of a goose, which might have been used in religious ceremonies. Another fascinating find was a goose egg, meticulously preserved inside the box. The third discovery was an ibis, a bird that held special importance in ancient Egyptian culture due to its symbolic meaning. All these findings suggested that these items were used for special purposes. Beside the stone casket, they also found another bundle wrapped in linen. Inside this bundle, they discovered a wooden box that was remarkably well-preserved and designed to look like an ancient Egyptian mortuary chapel. This box had the name of Pharaoh Thutmose, second on it, indicating a link to royalty. Inside, there were objects that held symbolic significance for the deceased Egyptian ruler. This pointed to the idea that a temple or tomb might have been built in honor of Pharaoh Thutmose II, a practice often carried out for pharaohs. Notably, this discovery was made in the heart of a royal cemetery. The scientists were thrilled by the potential that this find held. It hinted at the possibility of uncovering the long-lost burial site of King Thutmose II. Although his time as ruler was brief, he married his sister, Queen Hatshepsut, who became one of Egypt's most influential leaders. Despite extensive efforts to locate the king's tomb in the surrounding area, their attempts haven't borne fruit yet. The discovery of his resting place would be a momentous event, similar in significance to the discovery of King Tutankhamun's tomb. Archaeologists are hopeful that if they do locate his tomb, it remains untouched, as it could offer invaluable insights into the customs and way of life of ancient Egypt. Number 2. The Hidden Chambers of the Great Pyramid The Great Pyramid of Giza, an ancient marvel, never ceases to captivate our imagination. Constructed more than 4,500 years ago during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu, this pyramid's sheer enormity, precision, and intricacy continue to spark wonder. Its mysteries have given rise to numerous theories, and one particularly intriguing puzzle revolves around potential concealed chambers and passages. In the year 2017, researchers harnessed cutting-edge scanning technology to unveil a sizable hidden chamber within the pyramid. This chamber stretches a remarkable hundred feet in length and is situated above the Grand Gallery. The function and contents of this chamber remain shrouded in uncertainty, prompting experts to speculate whether it could have held treasures, served an astronomical purpose, or contributed to the pyramid's overall structure. Another riddle concerns the Queen's Chamber. Archaeologists find themselves perplexed by its absence of inscriptions or burial objects. Notably, this chamber boasts two slender shafts that extend outward. These shafts' true intent has spurred ongoing debates. Some posit that they were employed for ventilation, while others propose that they were aligned with celestial bodies to guide the soul of the pharaoh. The unearthing of small, sealed doors, dubbed Gantenbrink's doors, has further intensified speculations surrounding concealed compartments. 
These doors are situated at the terminus of narrow shafts and remain unexplored to this day. Their existence has fueled conjecture regarding the potential treasures or enigmas that they might safeguard. As we continue to study and uncover the enigmatic aspects of the Great Pyramid, it beckons us to delve deeper into the mystique of Egypt's ancient past. Number 1. The Tombs of the Pyramid Builders In the year 1990, an Egyptian archaeologist named Dr. Zahi Hawass made a significant discovery. He found the tombs of the people who built the famous Pyramids of Giza. These tombs reveal an interesting part of history about the individuals who crafted these impressive structures. These findings challenge the idea that the pyramids were built by slaves. Instead, they show that the builders were skilled workers who were honored for their important role. The tombs themselves were simple structures made from bricks of mud. Some of them had decorations on the walls, like writings and paintings. These pictures give us a peek into the daily lives of the workers. We can see them cutting stones, moving heavy blocks, cooking food, and enjoying their free time. The presence of medical facilities and the remains of workers with injuries from their work suggests that their bosses took care of them when they got hurt. Another significant piece of proof comes from a nearby graveyard where more than 600 people were buried. In this burial ground, archaeologists found items such as pottery, tools, and jewelry. These findings show that the workers were given proper burials and offerings, indicating that they were respected members of their community and not treated as slaves. The tombs of the pyramid builders offer us a special and heartfelt view into the lives of the individuals who played a role in constructing the pyramids of Giza. They demonstrate how complex ancient Egyptian society was and challenge the common ideas we might have about these builders. Which of these discoveries did you find the most intriguing? Let's know your answers in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.